Hi everyone, my name is Nertika, but my friends, they like to call me the Fly Mother. <laughs> now I did get this name because of a great amount of time that I do spend in the Fruit Fly Lab, but I spend a lot of time there because I do believe that my research can save human lives. Yes, I did say save human lives. Now this may not seem obvious at first because the relationship between a fruit fly and a human seem pretty far off, but they're actually more similar to us than we think. Yeah, those pesky annoying creatures that you try to get rid of in your food are actually very valuable model organisms in our lab that has taken us decades to grow. They're also very cheap and easy to genetically manipulate and delete their genes. But most importantly, the fly earned its valuable name because of its ability to recover from anoxia as much more easier than a human can. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is anoxia exactly? Well, anoxia is the condition where there's no oxygen present in a cell. You can think of this in terms of a stroke. Now, when there's no oxygen present, it's bad because once oxygen gets introduced back into the system, the fly ha comes in, in the form of a it, that it comes in the form of reactive oxygen species. And what happens here is it takes an essential amino acid called methionine and it converts it to a non-functional methionine amino acid. And this non-functional methionine is what causes aging, DNA damage, and mostly death in the fruit fly. Now, the fruit fly has two genes the MSRA and the MSRB genes, and this combats the damage. And what they do is they take that non-functional methionine and they reverse it back to functional methionine, preventing all this from happening. But why is it that my research is studying these two genes in a little fruit fry? Well, I'm doing this because these two genes are actually in humans as well, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the gap is bridged between humans and the fruit fly. My research studies whether these genes can recover, can help recover from anoxic stress. And I found out that they do. What I did was I aged out the flies to young, middle age, and old because the human lifespan and the fly lifespan are pretty much the same. And what I found out was when flies had both of these genes, they recovered much more easier than flies that had one gene deleted or even both genes deleted. Now you may be wondering, that's all great, but why is it that we can't recover from anoxia as a fruit fly can? Well, it's because there's a mechanism occurring in these two genes that are not in humans. So that's where my future research comes in. My future research is aimed to find this mechanism between these two genes in the fruit fly, find it, identify it, extrapolate it, and then apply it to future therapeutic drugs to treat stroke patients, and then we would be able to recover much more easier, just like a fruit fly can. So ladies and gentlemen, next time you de do see a fruit fly, please remember that a cure for stroke is just on its way. Thank you so much. <laughs>